Hello, I'm Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars. Today I have the pleasure of presenting you an absolutely magnificent 1967 Ford Mustang Fastback Custom that I have deemed Super Stang. At MS Classic Cars, we've had beautiful, beautiful Mustangs. I'm a huge fan of Mustangs. The 1967 uh, Mustang is one of my favorite body styles of all time. Uh, it's an awesome, awesome body style. Um, and of course, the Eleanor Mustang, which is the famous movie car from the Gone in 60 Seconds uh, film, uh, is one of my personal favorites. We've had a bunch of those cars over the years, uh, maybe four or five to be exact. Um, when searching for a 67 Mustang, especially one that looks like Eleanor, one that's had a body kit, um, I personally have found from all of my years of experience, whether I'm looking at these cars online or I'm looking at them at auctions, uh, most of these cars are not in the condition uh, that MS Classic Cars would like to put our name on. Uh, they have bad body work. The restorations are just kind of mediocre. They don't use any real, true high-end components. They're more just look uh, only and nothing to do with functionality. Um, so again, I'm very picky when looking at these cars. Uh, this particular vehicle here is not exactly an Eleanor, but it does have a body kit. Uh, it's definitely a 67 uh, Mustang. Uh, kind of looks like a GT500 with some of the Eleanor tributes. Uh, so it's something that I'm just really really proud of definitely a one-of-a-kind build um, and this is hands down uh, in the top 25 of the best vehicles that we've ever owned at ms classic cars uh, so i can't be any happier the fact that it's white uh, which is my favorite color just kind of puts the icing on the cake uh, so to talk about this build this car was professionally built um, and it only has uh, less than 100 miles on it since completion um, the body is laser laser straight um, it does have, again, a, a custom body kit that was added to the front. It also has one that was added to the rear. Uh, all of the side scoops were actually molded in absolutely beautiful to the body. Uh, obviously, it's got a custom hood, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the body on this car um, is one of the best bodies I've ever seen on a 67 Mustang. I don't really know what else to say. Um, again, making the body lines all line up with these aftermarket body pieces is very, very difficult. Uh, the car was painted uh, in this gorgeous white. The paint job is absolutely show quality. Is it a high, high level uh, paint job? And of course, the uh, Super Snake stripe was added to the vehicle in red, which is a great, great color, uh, especially against the white paint and the side stripes on the bottom were also painted on. A lot of these Mustangs uh, use graphic decals. Uh, these are actually really painted on the car and clear coated over, which really look uh, quite awesome. Um, talking about some of the exterior features, it's obviously all brand new. Everything on the car is brand new. 
All of the glass is brand spanking new. It's all tinted, uh, including the front windshield, side windshield, um, side glass, a rear window in the back. Everything is brand new. Um, all the turn signals are LED. Uh, all of the taillights are sequential taillights in the back. Um, it does have a custom uh, gas cap on it. It does have a power antenna. And the car sits on these really, really cool uh, race line 17 inch wheels we were custom made for this car. The car was mini tubbed in the back for the Heights uh, rear end system with the inboard brakes. Uh, so the wheels are 11 inch in the rear. They, it gives the car a great stance. Um, the wheels have multiple colors. They're gray, they're brushed, and they're polished. And of course they have the center spinners which are uh, part of the original GT40 style rim which look uh, awesome on this car. So I can't really brag enough about the exterior of it. It's one of the best I've ever seen. Uh, making our way to the interior here, again, this has got to be the nicest 67 Mustang I personally have ever sat in as far as the interior is concerned. Everything is brand spanking new. Uh, the headliner is gorgeous. It's got this really nice overhead console which has the matching uh, brushed uh, trim like the rest of the interior has. New dashboard, all new gauges. It does have the auto meter phantom white face gauges. Uh, it's got an I did it tilt steering column. It's got the correct style wood Cobra steering wheel. Uh, even the levers on the column are all in billet. They're beautiful. Uh, it's got custom pedals. Um, it does have air conditioning. Um, it does have a full uh, console here. It's a beautiful console with gauges. It's got a power cutoff. It's got an auxiliary uh, outlet for a charger. Uh, it's got an, a custom uh, e-brake handle here, Hearst shifter. It's got a matching shift knob. It's got storage in the center console here. All the door panels are beautiful, extremely, extremely high quality. This car does have power windows. It has power door locks. Uh, it's got a ton of features, custom sound system. These are pro car seats that were made to look really close to what the original seats were. They're kind of a high back seat. Uh, it's got seat belts uh, in the front and back. It also has this uh, really nice roll cage that was added here, this roll bar, uh, which is really awesome. It's got custom floor mats. I could go on uh, literally for days talking about the interior of this car. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, it's got four speakers, uh, speakers in the kicker panel, speakers in the back panel. It's got a functioning rear seat that folds down. Uh, the battery was actually located in the trunk of the car. Even the trunk has got uh, billet hinges, which is really rare to find uh, in a 67 Mustang. And talking about the engine compartment in this car, it gets better when you open the hood. Um, this car has one of the most detailed engine compartments I've ever seen in a 67 Mustang. It is absolutely stunning. Uh, start giving you just a few examples here. Uh, the hood, which is a fiberglass custom hood, uh, the underneath of the hood was actually smoothed and finished. They painted it uh, in the same color as the body and they ran the uh, red stripe down the back side of the hood and then cleared it so it looks absolutely beautiful. A lot of these cars uh, have unfinished undersides to the hood, which look a little bit um, less desirable uh, to the eye. And this particular hood here um, is held on by billet uh, hood hinges, which also look really great. The whole engine bay was completely fabricated. They removed all of the strut towers, um, and they also added a cowl induction custom air intake system on the firewall, which looks really good. They once again painted the whole engine apartment in white. They clear coated everything over. The engine bay paint is as nice as the outside is. Uh, it's really spectacular. The heart of the car is an all aluminum 4.6 liter V8 uh, crate engine uh, that was paired with a pro charger, uh, supercharger that uh, has been estimated with the horsepower around 600, 650 horse. It runs absolutely beautiful. Again, the car has less than 100 miles on it, so the motor is barely broken in. Uh, the motor has been dressed with a ton of really nice accessories. Uh, you'll notice that the valve covers are red. It's got uh, coil covers that match the wheels. It's got GT500 logos on them. It even has a Ford Racing uh, oil cap uh, and so forth. So the engine is actually uh, cooled by an all aluminum radiator with an electric fan. Uh, the engine breathes out of a Flowmaster exhaust system that sounds awesome. Um, the engine is coupled to a Tremec um, 
T56 uh, Magnum transmission. This is a six-speed transmission. Uh, it's been built to handle a ton of power. It's got a custom uh, bell housing. It's got a custom drive shaft. It even has a hydraulic clutch. The power is transferred out the Heights uh, nine-inch Ford rear end. Uh, again, the back was mini-tubbed to fit this custom rear end. Um, it's an awesome rear end. If you haven't seen it, you got to check it out uh, on our website. Um, the rear end alone is worth a ton of money because it's got really, really uh, high-end components such as inboard uh, disc brakes. Uh, talking about the undercarriage of the car, the underneath of this car is done as nice as the top side. You could literally see your reflection in the, in the floor pans. It's so beautiful. It was all painted white. It was clear coated over. Really, really spectacular. Uh, you'll see when you look at the photos that it has a full frame. It was all customized for extra strength. It has uh, power rack and pinion steering. Uh, it's got a complete rod and custom front coilover suspension system on the car. It also, as I mentioned earlier, has that Heights uh, custom rear end. Um, it's got tons and tons of upgrades throughout. Even the fuel tank is a custom deal. Um, it's also got four-wheel uh, Willwood disc brakes with red calipers, drilled and slotted rotors. I mean, I can just go on and on. Um, so I think the best thing to do at this point is to check it out on our website for a full description with tons of photos at msclassiccars.com. I'm going to go ahead and start it, and I'm going to let you listen how beautiful it runs. It starts every time. It burns like a kitten. It sounds awesome. This is one that you have to check out. Thank you. Thank you.